let's jump into this um, all righty i'm super excited to talk to you thank you again for joining me tell us a little bit about how you um how the role came about with the new movie uh the clark sisters how did the role even come fall into your laps so, so to speak? yeah so i was I was well actually my management saw it on uh posted on um Donald Lawrence's page and and uh unfortunately he was not supposed to be posting it but fortunate for me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so great. They were looking for uh the last three sisters for the actors roles and um they told me they were like, you know, teen they they called me teen. They were like, "Teen, you have to do it. Like you have to audition." And I was wow. nervous. I really didn't want to do it because I've never wanted to really be on camera. And uh I've always done different roles but only in plays. So, uh I did it and uh, got the audition done, sent it over and probably within it was less than 24 hours. We got a call back and they were like, yeah, can you be Twinkie? I tried out for two roles and it was uh, Twinkie and uh, Denise. So wow. I tried okay. out for those, well, three and, and Jackie. And they were okay. like, no, you're Twinkie. Can you please be in wow. Canada in two weeks? I was like, yeah, of course. Wow, that's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your first role, I'm assuming, or no? Yes, for television, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so for 2020. I know, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about your role. You're you're playing Twinkie. Tell us about the role itself. Uh, so without giving too much away, they keep saying, Don't give too much away. And I'm like, dude, we're <laughs> posting clips. Come on now. But uh, <laughs> without giving too much away, Twinkie's role is the role is super um mild mannered really uh she's if if you've never met her you have to understand twinkie is very soft spoken she's slow to speak um she just doesn't seem to ever get angry really you know try, wow. kind of, you know suppresses a lot of that and so in the movie in the film you'll see that she wants to make uh, life decisions on her own she wants to get from underneath uh the family from what she's always known and she does it you know she takes a stab at it a couple of times you know and um unfortunately she's not really heard uh in the beginning but you know in life you just have to sometimes kind of bogart your way through and make people understand yeah. hey i'm my own person so sure. in the film you'll see that she's really sweet but she wants to finally be able to make some type of decisions on her own and get from under the thumb of her family sure now what was your biggest challenge um taking on this role what would you say was your your biggest challenge definitely being mild-mannered <laughs> oh, wow, i'm okay. loud <laughs> i am uh boisterous i i really have a really really big personality i t i speak way faster than twinkie does and wow um, it's you know but we have so much in common she's a uh divorced uh she's leader of a group and uh she's got a child and you know just so many things in common and of course a lot of weight was on her shoulders same thing with me you know so it was really challenging trying to make sure though because one thing about twinkie is even though she you know has her moments where she's funny but i'm always trying to be that really um great personality just outspoken and sure. want to make sure that people are happy around me so she's sure. kind of a little bit different from me on that but sure yeah. <laughs> So that's so interesting. Did you find it? Um, I guess my question is, did you have any, how did you um, tap into that character? Were, were there, did you have to go into a space alone, isolation? Like, how did you tap into the role of Twinkie? So I made sure that, first of all, I had to study her. I wanted to make sure that I had her mannerisms and everything down, but I also had to make sure that I got out of the place of being happy-go-lucky all the time because uh, Twinkie has dealt with, even though I have as well, but Twinkie has dealt with life at a way, on a way bigger scale than myself. And doing that, I had to make sure that when I was reading the story, because we actually, and I think all of the, the girls did it, we actually had to read this story almost daily because 
you have to know what it is that you're going to be doing the next day. So like you sure. have different scenes that you shoot every day, of course, but you want to make sure that you get on set and you're in that mindset. And, but as soon as like really, um, emotional scenes were over with, I had to jump out of it because I can't, I, me personally, I can't just stay there. It puts me in a depression and I ain't right. see that. You know? <laughs> right. No, I, get I did it. it. I got in there and then I, I came back out whenever they would say cut, they would tell me, you know, Hey, you know, if you need to take some time for yourself so you can get your mind back together, do that. So I, I took the instruction and I went ahead and did what I needed to do for the role. Sure. Now, without giving, and I don't know if you can do this, you can definitely tell me I can't do that, but without giving anything away, do you have a favorite line or what was your favorite dialogue in the movie? Can, <laughs> right now. You can't give that out. <laughs> right now, I can tell you because it's online. <laughs> okay, 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 good, good. <laughs> but when she turns to Jackie and she tells Jackie, I deserve a nice car, it puts so much stuff into perspective at least for me it did it put so much sure. stuff into perspective because i'm like dude i deserve something nice for myself right. <laughs> right. a lot of people are like dude she sold her catalog for a car and it's so much bigger than that you know what i'm sure, saying so sure. but when you when you see the movie you'll see why she what why? decisions she made and why she made why? The decisions. it wasn't for a car okay like <laughs> right it was a bigger thing to her right I yeah now um how were you able to relate you did mention some things but ultimately how was you able to really relate to her since you know you guys are personalities were are, are different how are you able to relate to her um of course I've, I've gone through divorce and um i've been divorced since 2011 so i've gone through a divorce and it was a really tough time for me at that point and she actually goes through the same exact thing and it's a lot of pressure especially when you're in the front of people all the time so they're kind of like so what happened to y'all you know it just want to be in your business you know and um it can put a lot on your shoulders again you know it it makes you um kind of almost go into depression because you're thinking you know everybody said that it wouldn't work out and it's the same exact thing for her like because it was wow. the same thing for me it won't work out you know and yeah. uh i related to her on more ways than one but that's that's just one wow that's amazing now um who who i guess who is the funniest person in the cast in real life like while you guys are on set who was the funniest so i'll say two people because they're kind of neck and neck but angela is number one she okay. is <laughs> super funny she almost acts just like jackie in real life wow <laughs> yes. okay yes like certain things agitate her and you can tell in her face and she's and we're like snap out of it that's so <laughs> like funny super funny though um and then kiara comes in next like she's, she's hilarious really she's a nut okay <laughs> she's my type of person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's definitely funny now what were you doing in between i know you know when you're on set like how what, what were you what was y'all doing was y'all making jokes were y'all together where you was that a time where you were going back trying to make sure you know you were looking at your lines or were you just chilling what was you doing in between you know the sets we really didn't have a lot of time to ourselves except for on weekends that was uh those were the days that we were off like saturday and sunday but okay. during the week we had to be at work and it would literally be from sun up to sundown but like our earliest mornings would be five o'clock our latest nights would be maybe 11 11 30 mm -hmm. and uh by the time we got back to our uh house like it was time to go to sleep <laughs> so it, was, it wasn't no play play <laughs> it no, wasn't no 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 the first the first week maybe the week and a half week and a half we got the opportunity to actually get to know each other because none okay. of us knew each other so oh, we got there wow. and uh the very first day we did a table read with the producers the execs everybody including sure. um you know the the uh younger girls i believe and then also we the next day we said hey let's go out to eat let's you know get to know each other we got to know each other and then from there we started going over lines together for that first week 
And uh, it was really dope because we had to get a actual sisterhood, like a really good Real run together. Yeah, we yeah. didn't want it to come off on television, like you know, oh, they just had to go to work. Actually, no, we actually right. developed a close wow, that's relationship. Good. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. Now I know um, Kiera placed her mother, mm-hmm. um, and um, I have a question about that. But let me ask you this. Um, mm-hmm. If you could pick one role um, besides yours, um, which role do you think is going? Which Denise. role do you think is going to blow us away? <laughs> Denise, Denise's role is going to absolutely blow you away. Everybody's got their their um, preconceived notion about what it is that is going to happen, and they have no idea because again, wow. these women are sisters first and foremost. Before the business, they have a mom. And they have they had to live together. You hear me? So shower okay. together, eat together. There you go. See, you already know. You know. Yes. So they they're sisters in real life. You know what I'm saying? And sure. people go through things. And so, but we made and Raven always talks about it. She says, you know, I wanted to make sure that she wasn't um, coming off as a villain because she's not a villain. When right. you see the film, you'll be like. Oh, they didn't mess her up. Like, you know, <laughs> everybody's thinking that we like went after her or something. I'm like, no, she's not a villain. None of them are villains in the in the film. It's right. their actual story. Like people, but you know, we we get on Vine and you know stuff. Just, and we think we know. <laughs> we know yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Now, yeah. how was it working with um, the producers? You had um, uh, I, one of them is coming to my mind. Um, She's been doing a Dr. lot of Holly things. Carter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, how was she's it great. With her? She's great. She was actually the one that was on set the most. Um okay. and uh let me see. So Queen, um, Mary J Mary, and Missy, they, they weren't on set or anything like that, but when we when we met them, I think we've met everybody except for one. Um, and that's okay. Missy. But everybody keeps saying, oh my gosh, this because they've wow. seen it. So they're like, whoa, y'all like killed it because we wanted to make sure that, and this is them, they wanted to make sure that their story is being told in a way that the Clark sisters can tell their story sure, and it really sure. be the truth instead of sure. people assuming what happened in their relationship, you know? So sure. it's, it's dope to hear them say that it was really great, but uh, Dr. Holly Potter was, was there every step of the way, and she was even directing the Clark sisters when they came to set. They were like, are we supposed to be doing this? She's like, yes! 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 <laughs> So, so tell me, how was that? So I'm sure the Clark sisters came on set a few times, or how did that work? They did. They wanted to make sure, again, they wanted to make sure that their story was told um, the way that it was supposed to be told. Um, They even got the opportunity to change things around. If somebody, if one of them uh, was, was mixed up, for saying this thing, they made sure that it was given to the correct wow. sister. So, th- yeah, it was really, really dope. And um, they're all executive producers as well, along with okay. uh, uh, Sheer. He's a, an okay. executive producer as well. Yeah. So, man, that is so amazing. So, yeah. how does it feel? And this is my last question, or last two questions. How does it feel because we know that the Clark sisters are legendary to gospel music? Yes. Have have that you know have that really registered that you are actually playing in a role that for centuries will be th- their story is going to be told not just now but beyond has it really how does that feel it hits me every day that it gets closer like I literally get a joke every day and don't don't make fun of me but like almost daily I tune in the lifetime just to see the come <laughs> Oh, that's no, that's like no, like I get it, I get it. I will be tuning in, girl, that's me, girl. Look, my daughter, your mama, mama no, girl, girl, that's you. Look at you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so yeah, special, so though. I'm celebrating with every you. day. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it does. It hits me every single day. It's really amazing because you you want for not just the Clark sisters to love it, but their fans are basically like the beehive. So you got to make sure you come, <laughs> you, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah Cause we, I'm like, I grew up on them. Did you nail that part? 
Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so I get it. Okay, lastly, um, no more questions for you, but just tell us when the movie's going to premiere, when I'm going to be watching you, because I'm going to be like, hey, girl, I'm talking to her. <laughs> so tell us when it's going to premiere and all that good stuff. Okay, so the movie premieres on April the 11th, 8, 7 Central on Lifetime. And I believe that there are going to be like multiple other times that you'll be able to watch it. But we need sure. to make sure that everybody watches it as soon as the 8, 7 Central comes because it's really important. This is Gospel Royalty. They're the first, the first gospel group to have a biopic. So this is really huge for the gospel community. This is huge. Yeah. I'm so, girl, I'm, I'm over here excited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am super excited. Yeah, that's that's what's up. Well, well we're, I'm going to be what, girl? I'm bo- I'm probably going to make a party. <laughs> me and my family. Here we go. We're going to have a full situation. I'm going to cook me some we're a bunch of food. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited for you. And thank you again. Um, and y'all got to start with these clips because these clips is teasing us. No more. There are no more. No more clips. But I okay. do believe that um, there'll <clears throat> always be like some um, some more commentary from uh, the executive producers and stuff. You know. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to see no more because I want to see the extra movie. <laughs> no, it's y'all? coming. We uh, less than two weeks now. We 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 putting it in there. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. But I gotta have you back on because I know it's not just you know the movie stuff. We'll talk more about. You know your music and your career. Um, I gotta have you back on. I really enjoyed you. You, I enjoy being on. Thank you so much. Have a good one and stay safe, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here playing. Wait, hold on. I know you got to go, but girl, I'll be over here interceding. You hear me? Listen, my daughter has sickle cell disease, so I'm oh, really, no. yeah. So I'm really like, and my husband is a firefighter. Yeah. So he's actually he, he had to go to work yesterday, and I came home. I'm side eyeing him. Don't touch me. I'm looking at him like brother, because you know just that whole dynamic. Yeah. Like, you know, constantly wiping in my house because he's out there. Me too, and we don't even be going nowhere. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> I just my nurse, so you know, just keep me in prayers, and I'll do the same for you. But I just been, I just been praying, just for safety, yeah. for just family, friends, Absolutely. you know. So, but we gonna make it through. God we are, us. we are. Yep. God got us. So, <laughs> <laughs> I keep doing that. I gotta stop because I did that in the last interview, and they was laughing at me. I was like, Oh Lord, I gotta stop doing that. Look, we we see each other. We on the same page. Okay. We can do that. Okay, <laughs> you got my back. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, for joining me, hon. Huh?